This is my unboxing video for the TurboGrafx-16 Mini, which was released by Konami. As of the making of this video, it, it is still unavailable on the Amazon.ca website, or at least officially anyways. Um, they want over almost $300 for it, so if, uh, if you want to get this, it's probably better to get it from the Amazon.com website and just pay the uh, import fee. For me, this was $150. So I'm just going to go through it here. Uh, here's the box, the listing of the games on it. I'm not going to go in depth here too much. So there's that. We have the instructions. So that's there. And here's the mini itself. comes off. Shows us the HDMI port. Can't see it very well, but the power port is right there. Of course we have an HDMI cable. And the TurboPad controller. For anyone who's had a TurboGrafx-16 in the past, uh, it is a nice, uh, nice feature to have a long cord. The original TurboGrafx-16 controllers were notoriously short. And then just a power USB cable. So that is the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Now compared to the original TurboGrafx-16, this is actually not that much smaller than the original. And I have the original here actually. So putting these together here, you can see that they're actually fairly close in size, about 75% compared to the other mini consoles out there this one is probably one of the largest so we'll compare it to, to another mini console sega genesis mini and as you can see it is quite a bit larger and just to compare it to a more recent console we will put it against the Nintendo Switch. And as you can see here, the length of the system is pretty much equal to the Switch. For the most part, all the features of the original are here. Every little detail, including the power and then the labels for the antenna switch and the channel 34 of course there's nothing there on this version of it whereas on the previous version you had the coax out and then the switch the power was located over here <laughs> so this is my unboxing video and i hope you enjoyed